This master session is about a typical lumbar vertebra. Just like all other vertebrae, a typical lumbar vertebra has an anteriorly placed body, also called as the centrum, and a posteriorly placed vertebral arch or the neural arch. Between them, we have the presence of the vertebral canal or the vertebral foramina through which the spinal cord passes. The body is large. It is wider from side to side than from before backwards. The height of the body is slightly more on the anterior aspect than on the posterior aspect and this creates a nice convexity of the lumbar spine. The vertebral foramen present between the body and the neural arch is roughly triangular in shape. It's bigger in size as compared to the thoracic region but smaller than the cervical region. These are the pedicles. The pedicles are pretty small but they are stout structures and they are placed more along the superior margin of the body and as a result these notches which are formed inferiorly are bigger than the notches which are formed superiorly so the inferior vertebral notches are much deeper than the superior vertebral notches in case of a typical lumbar vertebra the lamina as we can see here are short, thick and broad and they are directed backwards and medially. They join in the midline to form the spinous process. The spinous process is more or less a thick quadrangular piece of bone which is pointing backwards and slightly downwards. The posterior and the inferior border of the spine is thickened. The transverse process, as we can notice here, are very thin and tapering structures and they are directed laterally and slightly backwards. They are almost similar to the ribs in the thoracic region and they are more or less an accessory process here. Two articular processes are present, superior articular process and inferior articular process. As you can notice, the superior articular process are placed slightly wider and the inferior are placed slightly closer to each other. The superior articular process has this facet for articulation with the vertebrae above it. This is a slightly concave facet which faces medially and backward and it forms the synovial joint with the superior vertebrae. Similarly, the inferior articular processes have facets which are more or less convex in shape and they are facing laterally and slightly forward.